Oh mate, I have literally been desperate to share this collaboration project we've been working on for the last couple of years. And finally, the time has come. So we are absolutely finally here. This is the Arc Vector. This is Mark Truman, CEO of the company of Arc. Uh, I'm Aaron, and we're gonna have a chat about the bike. So Mark, Fantastic. phenomenal machine, right? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, congratulations, obviously. Thank you very much. No, it's been, uh, it's been quite a launch. Uh, yes. We couldn't have asked for any more. It's gone absolutely fantastically. So. Fantastic. So obviously we're at the, the uh, end of the first day of ICMA. Yep. And feedback so far has been bonkers, right? We've been on Daily Mail, Mail on Sunday, we've been on the Sun uh, newspaper. Yeah, the Independent, Fox News in the States, the Metro, um, it's just gone crazy. I mean, I yeah. say it's more than we could have hoped for, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. And, and obviously, to get to this point, you know, when we first met a few years ago, well, it was two years ago, right? Yes. Part of uh, Jaguar, and That's it right. was a super exciting project, you know, uh, in, in, in its infancy. And now it's turned out into something that I just can't believe I'm looking at, really, which is just a phenomenal looking machine. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long time in the making, yeah. you know. I mean, I think we calculated it was about 50,000 man hours of has gone right? into this, yeah, you know, wow. since, since we met. So it's been a massive job to get it where it is. Yeah. The project's just come forward in, you know, absolute leaps and bounds. And uh, we're incredibly proud um, to have been able to develop it along with our partners, such as you and uh, the other guys that have been involved. There's been quite a bit of talk today, uh, and you know, when I read about the press release and stuff about the um, the team that has gone behind making this bike, you know, and there's sort of talks about Avengers Assemble and Absolutely. all that kind of stuff. Yep. But I've spent the day kind of chewing the fat with a lot of the uh, the engineers um, who have been involved in this, and some actually really serious guys behind the project and yep. everyone to a man has been sort of super proud of what they've been able to achieve with this with this bike absolutely we we wanted you know the right kind of people yeah and you know the people have really been handpicked yeah for people that we know they really know what they do but they're also people that were willing to tear up the rule book and throw it away and go okay well knowing yeah. what we know but let's have a look at this now from a blank piece of paper Mm -hmm. um, and you know we've had guys from Formula One, you know MotoGP, um, you know top end automotive, uh, luxury cars, um, as well as the traditional sort of motorcycle brands, all collaborating on this. Sure. Um, but if there's one thing that combines them, it's that mindset. You know yeah. that mindset to be able to say, do you know what? You know, let's start with a blank piece of paper and see what we can do. Fantastic. So you know, tell us a little bit about the bike, if you don't mind, Mark. No, absolutely. So. I mean, the main thing about this bike here really is the is the monocoque um, construction. Okay. So um, the bike has no chassis. Okay. Um, the battery um, is the chassis. It's also the aesthetic A surface, you know, that you can see. Fantastic. So g give us a give us a couple of the main specs of the bike, if you yeah. mind, Mark. So 220 kilos. Okay. 16.8 kilowatt hours, um, which gives you a range of. Um, a realistic range of 200 miles. Yeah, and and, and in terms of power, so um, 103 kilowatts. Yeah, you know, over 140 brake horsepower for those that deal in in horses. Yeah, um, so as much power as my Jigs are. 750 basically yeah absolutely yeah um, but with a huge amount of torque well see this is the thing that I can't quite get my head around because I was talking to one of the engineers and we're saying nearly 400 Newton meters of torque nearly 400 Newton meters of torque which I mean, is just mind-blowing that's what know. it's capable of yeah right, uh, okay. obviously no rider will ever see that because sure. uh, they won't be on it for long yeah um, yeah, yeah but um, you know that is essentially the capability of the machine, but it will be traction control limited. Um, but you won't be able to take off from the lights much quicker, that's for sure. No, absolutely. And, and, and I suppose, you, you know, that's totally different to a combustion engine, right? You've got no, you've got no uh, petrol powered motorbike that's going to deliver power in that type of way. No, well, that's it. I mean, you know, when you think about a petrol engine bike, you have a power and a torque curve. So although they have, you know, very good power and very good torque, you know, it's only it's at linear, the peak. Right? It's only at the peak of that curve. Yes. You know, but literally from one RPM, it's pretty much 
you know, a flat, uh, a flat. Um, I was going to say torque curve, but it's not a curve. Yeah, it's right. a torque line. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, so that then that sort of leads us on to the next real innovation with this bike, I suppose, because the the power delivery is going to be so different, you know, to a regular regular bike, and and we've managed to. Um, you know, innovate with the with the uh, HMI, the human machine interface, and and there's something totally different about the Arc Vector and and, and how it sort of uh, interacts with the user, right? You know, when we first rode electric bikes, we found that there is a lack of feedback that we're used to. Sure. You know, um, there's no gear changes, there's no surges in deceleration, no noise, no mm -hmm. no vibrations. We wanted to try and find a a new language you know, for riders of electric bikes to get some of that feeling back. And the an idea initially was to a performance benefit, something that would okay. make it quicker. Yeah. Um, but we've obviously found that there are a huge amount of other things that we can do with that system. So there's urban mode where we're able to, you know, give, um, you know, ARAS, um, you know, advanced rider assist systems, um, uh, notifications, so blind spot monitoring, forward collision, you know, the jacket will give you a shake literally if, you know, a car pulls out in front of you so that just to make you aware that something's happening in front of you. You might get a tap on the back, um, which rises up your back the closer that a car gets in a blind spot monitoring situation. Wow, super clever stuff. Yeah. So obviously at Knox we've been collaborating with Arc on the armor system and um, really housing that HMI unit and, and, and the way that the haptics work, right? Yeah, that's it. I mean, you know, collaborating with, with, with Knox was a... Uh, you know, it was a natural choice for us, you know, with that reputation in, in safety, mm -hmm. um, but also style, um, you know, a fantastic British brand, you know, that's known globally. Um, it would have been, you know, silly of us to try and, you know, do the same, to, to do that ourselves. Yeah. So working with Knox to develop this system and add the intelligence to it really seemed like the right thing to do. And I think between us, you know, we've come up with a really fantastic uh, offering. Totally agree, and every uh, certainly every every product that we're going to be making as part of the bike is going to have um, is going to have the armor uh, jacket, is going to have the outer jacket included in it, um, all custom made, hand built in the uh, Lake District uh, factory, using the absolute finest raw materials that just exist. So you know this is a really really premium product. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, with the price tag of this bike. Yeah. and with the level of customization that you have on the bike. We needed something that mirrored that, you know, for the apparel and for the rider wear. And um, yeah, so having something which Knox can tailor fit to the customer um, obviously gives it that certain je ne sais quoi. And that along with the helmet, the helmet is the key to the bike. Okay. So um, you, yeah, there is no key, the helmet's the key. You get within one meter of the bike with the helmet, and then the bike will start. It, it sounds absolutely incredible, and you know, can't wait to uh, potentially have a go on it. Yeah, don't worry, you'll be having a go. I promise. <laughs> Look, I'm going to put all the um, technical specs that are available in the description, so you can find out more about the bike. Also, I'll put in the web link as well. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one, and look out for more on the Arc Vector bike. So I've been Aaron. This has been Mark. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.